Hey YouTube, it's Maximum988 here. Um, I am going to be continuing the uh, Arch Linux tutorial. Um, I have not touched it at all since I did the last part of how to just get it installed. Now we gotta, you know, do the stuff and that link to that life hacker article. I'm basically following that. That's my notes. Um, I'm gonna differentiate from that in a couple parts bits, but I don't think we'll reach any of those parts in the video, so if you'd rather just read, it would be quicker, though it is semi-heavy reading. I printed it out, it's like 30 pages. Um, anyway, let's get started. Um, let's launch the virtual machine, and yes, that is an OS 10 Hackintosh thing right there. It doesn't work that well, but it works. So, yep, yeah, here's the virtual thing, and let's throw that up so that, so now it's booting. And a much later tutorial, I'll show you how to get a splash screen. So that might be actually on my... No, I'd probably have to do the virtual machine. Just can't really record the boot. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to... Uh, update your thing. So you log in with root and the password you did. Was it screencast? Yeah. Okay, it was screencast for me. You now root at screencast at, at screencast is whatever you set your host name in the rc.conf I call conf I don't know what the correct thing is but to update we shouldn't have to update because I if you use the net install they supposed to grab the latest packages but this was a couple days ago so there might have been some updates and we're running as root and plus sudo isn't installed the only user on here is root at the moment um, so you type in pacman like package manager dash capital S and then a lowercase y and a lowercase u and then it goes synchronizing package database and now it's updating all the sources and if you hear that noise it's my brother and sister playing Mario Kart on the way upstairs I don't know how my brother can sit three feet away from a 46 inch LCD Okay. Oh, so there was some updates. Good. Until download size 13. This should not take too long, uh, if, but I'm going to pause it anyway. Okay, so it finished the update. So now we have to add a user, set a password to that user, and then install sudo. And this is basically a direct quote from the, let me focus on the virtual machine geek again, from that Lifehacker article I keep mentioning. And it's user add... Um, dash M, dash G, I'm not sure what those do, and then dash capital G, the other G is lowercase, and then you put a comma separated list of all the groups you want to join. So the ones I'm doing is audio LP, if you have a floppy, you want to add floppy to the list if you have scanner, you want to do that too, but audio, comma LP, comma optical, comma storage, comma Unfortunately, you can't really copy and paste from one machine into a virtual machine, especially when it's a command line thing. Okay, so I did storage, then video, then wheel. Don't ask me what the wheel thing is, that's like your root thing. Basically, any user would, later when we set up sudo, we're going to set up so anyone who's a member of that group, wheel, will be able to use sudo as long as they can type in their password correctly. And then power. Okay, and then after this we have a dash lowercase s space bin comma bash or not comma slash bash and then you add and after this you have a space and you have your username. I'm just going to call this screencast. Actually no, I'll do maximum 988. Group dash g does not exist. Okay. Oh. Okay. Sorry, it's dash G users. There you go. And then you do P you set the password, so P A S S W D. I don't know why I wouldn't have killed them just to make it the full password. Instead of P A S S W D. That's two more letters. 
apparently two more letters will kill you or something. And then you type in the username of the user you want to set the password to. But I assume this can also be used to change the password. And I'm just going to make this password screen cast. Retype it. Okay. So we have that. Okay. All right. And then I believe it's pack, oops, lowercase, pacman dash s pseudo. And yes, it is. This will take a mere seconds, so I'm not going to bother pausing it. And done. Okay. And now uh, we have to run, because the, to edit the pseudo configuration file, you got to run a command or whatever, but that runs VI, and I hate VI. I, okay, this is going to tick the Blender people off, but I consider it the Blender of text editors. But then again, I've never used another CAD program except Blender, and I've tried doing a couple of tutorials and I haven't gotten it. Maybe it's because I'm not in the industry or whatever. Just, please don't, like, rant. I apologize. It's just I'm trying to come up with a metaphor there. It probably wasn't a good one. So anyways, you run the command to do nano, which is a lot easier. In VI, you, do, you run, instead of VI sudo, sudo you do editor equals nano like that if I can type space vi sudo then it opens up this and then you scroll down these run that group wheel I told you that if you remember where I said so if you remember that group you can run the sudo if you scroll down here And then, okay, yeah, we don't want that one because that means they can do it without a password. We want that one. So when we hit Control X to exit, I think. Uh, let me open the notes. Maybe there's something different. Okay, um, I'm going to figure this out. No, let's try escape, duh. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause this and figure out what I did. Okay, I figured out what the problem was. It's, uh, I wasn't running a... It's actually edit... Oops, gotta focus on the virtual machine. There we go. You gotta type in editor with all caps, then you do nano, and then you do vi sudo. There you go. Now it's nano, Scroll down that same line. Whoops, no, that's not what I wanted. Wrong line. Not that one. This one. And then save. So I hit Control X. Then it said, Do you want to save? I hit Y. And then just hit Enter. Okay, and then. Um, Okay, and then we should, all right, so now we want to edit, now we're going to get sound working, so now we got to do nano slash etc slash mod probe dot d slash mod probe dot Conf, C L N F. Okay, and then apparently it's that it's that blank, and then now we just gotta type in options. I'm gonna actually. I'm kind of white space heavy heavy when I'm coding. This is kind of coding, and that's S N D. Now I'm gonna minimize Firefox in the background. S N D. Hyphen P. S yeah PSCP index equals two like that. Right. 
exit. Yes. Now we're root, so we can do that. Okay, and now I'm going to show you that you can actually install two packages with one command with Pacman. So you do Pacman s, and then you just have space separated package names. And we have two. So we have Alsa, which is the sound manager, dash utils. And then the other one is like Alsa hyphen OSS. Or dash, whatever, OSS. Like that. And then this shouldn't take too long. So, but I'm going to pause it anyway. Okay, I'm back. Um, what I did was I enabled the recording of the system audio so you'll be able to hear because we're setting up the audio. So I want you to hear what it should sound like when we get to that point. So now we're going to be wanting to set up the sound stuff as our user and we should be logged in as root right now. So now you type in su and then your username next from 988 and then magically your running commands is root or is your username but also it, I don't know how to describe it anyway so now we want to tap run also mixer now you're gonna get this thing and then you go and you want the master and hang on let me get to the next page of my notes okay so now we want to go, okay, we're at master, so we hit M to unmute it. Okay, then where you see where it says item, and then DB gain. We want that to be zero, so it'll be unamplified, I think. Okay, I guess it's maximum. Okay, and then the other one it's, you should be doing is, and then you hit M to unmute it. And then you bring it up. Okay, see, we're at that the maximum it's positive if you want it where it's zero okay and then exit hit escape to exit and then you type this command and hopefully the recorder will get this it's a play audio play I would guess USR slash share slash sounds if I could type and oops, also, and then front underscore center dot wav front center. And hopefully you heard a lady go front center or something like that. If I did that, that's kind of creepy that I can that work. And then you got to save those settings. So we gotta go to we just gotta run SU to switch back to root. Okay, and then it wants you know, it was screencast. It wants the password. Okay, so we're back as root. Then we do run uh, also and then this is one word. CTL and then space stores. So that stores those audio settings we set up. All right, and now we have to open up rc.conf. So nano slash etc slash rc.conf. Okay. Now we got to go find the daemon section of diamonds or start taking Latin and the a in Latin is pronounced I. So here's the daemons thing. Now we just stick this guy right after cron D. Also. Okay. Then control X. Let's say yes. Alright. And then we have audio set up. And I, that is where I am going to end this part of uh, my Arch Linux installation slash setup tutorial. Hopefully you'll keep watching. Thanks.